Hi everyone, I hope that you're having a great day. This is the next video in our series on the best apartments in Dallas. In this video, I'll be covering the best uptown apartments. Remember to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. This is brought to you by Valet Maids Dallas, your Dallas cleaning service. Use code SAVE30 for $30 off your first home cleaning at valetmaids.com. Uptown is just north of downtown and is one of the most walkable areas in Dallas. Here's a quick backstory of the neighborhood itself. When it was originally settled, it was outside of city limits, so people who lived there were those who were not allowed to live in city limits. The west side was known as Little Mexico, kind of by where Harry Hines is right now, and was a largely Hispanic area. What is now City Place Center was Freedmanstown, established by formerly enslaved people. Most of those areas have now been replaced by high-rise buildings, and the construction of US-75 and Woodall Rogers Freeway destroyed most of those neighborhoods. In the late 1990s, the area was seen as a potential gold mine due to its proximity to downtown, and the area was rebranded as Uptown to attract real estate development. It worked, and today Uptown has a total population of about 30,000 residents who have a median household income of about $106,000 per year. Most people live in apartments or condos as there are very few single-family homes in Uptown. Okay, here is our list of the five best apartments in Uptown. Just so you know, this list is based on Google reviews for each property. When there was a tie, the property with the higher number of reviews got the higher spot. Okay. Let's go. M-Line Tower, located at 3200 McKinney, is number 5 on our list, with a 4.3 rating on Google. The building gets its name because it houses the McKinney Avenue Transit Authority, which operates the M-Line Trolley. If you haven't ridden the trolley through uptown or downtown, definitely take the time to do that, and one of the great things about it is that it's free. Positive reviews of the building mention the great location, amenities, and finishes within the units. Several reviewers also mention the amazing rooftop views. Negative reviews mentioned the quote, inconsiderate college kids living on their parents' dime, end quote. Also, the road noise and regularly broken elevators are mentioned as cons to living in the building. One bedroom and studio apartments in the building start around $1,700 per month, and two bedrooms around $3,000 per month. Coming in at number four on our list is Gables Mirabella. This building is located at 2600 Cole Avenue and has a rating on Google of 4.4. Most reviews of this building are positive, however, this is not the place to live if you need quiet, especially on the weekends since there are several nightclubs and bars nearby. But honestly, you should expect some of that if you pick this location. There is easy access to the Katy Trail, which is a great perk if you like to hop on the trail to walk, jog, or bike. Positive reviews mention the great maintenance staff and office staff, but even positive reviews mention the noise from the nightlife nearby. One bedroom apartments in this building start around $1,500 and two bedrooms around $2,000 per month. Third on our list is One Uptown with a 4.5 rating on Google. The building is at 2619 McKinney Avenue, which is right across the street from the Uptown Whole Foods, so this is very convenient. The building really stands out with its unique architecture, and whenever I see it, I think of South Beach. I'm not sure if that's what they were looking for, but that's kind of the vibe that it gives me. Reviewers note that the building is well constructed and they hardly hear their neighbors, and that is super important for any apartment community. Some of the older negative reviews mention the restaurant on the ground floor, Circo. However, that restaurant has since closed and the space remains vacant. However, most likely it will be rented out again at some point, so it remains to be seen if that could be an issue again in the future. Fogo de Chao, the Brazilian steakhouse, sits on the ground floor currently and residents don't seem to mind having that there at all. Unique amenities in the building include not only a rooftop pool, but a glass bottom pool as well, which is pretty cool. One bedrooms in this building start around $1,700 and two bedrooms around $3,000 per month. Next on the list is the Brady, which is a high-rise luxury building located at 2728 Cedar Springs. This building was built in 2015 and has almost 3,000 units in its 18 stories. Uniquely, this building also has 120 different floor plans. Most of the reviews on this building are positive, noting the great concierge and building staff. It's right on the Katy Trail, which is also super convenient. Other amenities include hand-scraped hardwood floors, a resort-style pool, and built-in wine racks in the units. Studios in this building start around $1,900, one bedrooms around $2,300, and two bedrooms around $3,400 per month. Top on our list is Gables McKinney, with a 4.8 rating on Google. 
Reviewers love how well the building is maintained, the concierge, and management. Residents also like how Whole Foods is right downstairs and how quiet the building is despite its location in a generally noisy neighborhood. Complaints about the building mainly revolve around the lack of sunlight that the pool gets, so I guess make sure you get there when the sun's in the right spot. Studios in this building start around $1,700, one bedrooms around $2,000, and two bedrooms around $3,400 per month. So there's our list of the best apartments in Uptown. Let me know in the comments if you agree with this list and if you think another building should have been included. Also, be sure to check out our other apartment videos on Victory Park, Downtown, Deep Ellum, and the Arts District. See you next time!